The vision and mission of DeRosa is in support of younger emerging artists to give them a platform to experiment and have exposure, um, which was very much in the spirit of Rene DeRosa's sort of collecting methodology. For the purposes of the LARPing story, a large part of it is, is being played inside because it's kind of set around this big party, like a gala. So they're just kind of like bringing the story here as a means to uh, create a new story for this site. Anyone could come from any other LARPing community and take part by just stepping into the storyline kind of like a soap opera. Basically, a, uh, a big part of what we're doing is live action role playing. Uh, basically, it's a big murder mystery that, uh, that takes place in a, in a single continuity from week to week to week to week to week to week. Um, this one's been going on for about 10 years now. Uh, it's like reading um, you know, a nice drama series that just keeps going. Uh, instead of one person writing you know, a 300 page novel of, oh, this is what these characters did and whatnot, we have 40 people writing this story that extends through years. Some people are here because they, they love researching history and they want to play a character who's been around since the 1700s and they really want to know what 1700 France was like. Um, some people just like dressing up. Some people like the political um, aspect of it. Well, yeah. the reason I, uh, I got working with, uh, with Christopher and the other storytellers and all the players at, at Sanguine Dreams, um, it sort of came out of an interest on my part in, in live action role playing kind of as a, a vehicle of reinterpretation. So something you can, you can use to reinterpret um, uh, something. So it's kind of a, like a, 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 a mechanism that you can place over something and then whatever you're placing that over completely changes. And in this sense, that thing that changes is the DeRosa uh, as, uh, yeah, as, a, as a space, um, the history of the DeRosa, the, the specifics of the collection, all these things are reinterpreted by, uh, by the game, which is kind of this reality that's brought in by itself. Um, so what I was very interested to do is to uh, kind of facilitate that change. So I'm, I'm really saying in, in this sense, I'm, I'm very much collaborating with the storytellers of the game. Um, and I have certain sort of questions which I ask. The film uh, will be a, essentially kind of it is a, a document, it's a documentation of, of the game and what happened here. It'll also be um, stylized in a certain way that it'll, uh, it'll take kind of the, the reality of the space, so the reality of, of the De Rosa as an institution and as kind of this, this uh, art collection, and the reality of the game and kind of move in between those. The, the discussions and the talks tend to be about the art. So the art actually gets influenced by the game and, and the art influences the game. I don't know where the game's going to go. They don't know where the game's going to go. The players don't know where the game's going to go. And we're all just going to have to see where it goes together, <laughs> uh, which I find really exciting. And there have been some real surprises over these past couple of weeks. Absolutely. There's the DeRosa yeah. of what pieces grab people's attention or what people are interested in or what they're very not interested in. What I'm interested in my work is, is kind of um, uh, potentially kind of like changing not so much things but the, the way people look at things and the way people work with things um, and um, I think in this in this case this is also an experiment in that to see what happens if you bring something like this game into a space like this and that that's also what interests me so much about the form of, of of, role, of live action role playing is that it isn't a, a preset story it's a story that comes out of the game and the the game is is this sort of like a live organism that makes everything uh, possible. Bay Area Now.